Report. The Postmaster General agrees to testify before Congress amid a firestorm. Democrats accuse him of undermining the service in order to suppress votes. The House plans to vote this weekend on a bill to stop changes to the U.S. Postal Service before the election. President Trump's new Postmaster General, Louis DeJoy, has agreed to testify in Capitol Hill about new cost-cutting measures postal workers say have led to mail delivery delays. The directives he's making at the top, this is what it looks like at the ground. Slow, slow mail delivery, delay delivery. DeJoy made the changes as states moved to expand mail-in voting because of the coronavirus. President Trump once again called universal mail-in voting dangerous. It's fraught with fraud and every other thing that can happen. Something Democrats quickly refuted. The president knows exactly what he's doing by making these false claims. In a letter to the Postal Board of Governors, Senate Democrats accused the president and the joy of sabotaging the Postal Service and urged the board to reverse the changes. Last month, the Postal Service warned all 50 states that thousands of ballots may not be counted because mail-in ballots might not be processed fast enough for November's election. The president denies the agency is trying to discourage mail-in voting in order to increase his re-election chances. Now, I, I have encouraged everybody, speed up the mail. Not slow In a statement Sunday, the Postal Service said it would postpone removing some mail collection boxes for a period of 90 days while the agency evaluates customers' concerns, though it said their removal is routine and related to declining mail volumes. The Postal Service has asked for an additional $25 billion to help with processing the mail-in ballots, but the money is tied up in negotiations over a new coronavirus relief package. Meantime, the Postal Service plans to hike prices temporarily. Priority mail and first-class packages will see a price increase beginning October 18th. And look for much more on the funding fight and Campaign 2020 news tonight on the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell at 6.30 after CBS 4 News at 6.